day beautiful souls so it is day eight and tomorrow I have to return this car so I'm making the absolute most of it and I'm going off to Gran Cenote which is just a big natural swimming pool just north of Tulum it's the first time I've ever been to this one so I'm excited to see it and to go for a dip in some crystal clear water and yeah let's just uh, see see how it goes I'm excited I haven't done my I haven't meditated yet I haven't I haven't done my yoga I haven't done my appreciation practice although I really just appreciate being here right now and going and taking myself for like this little morning water refreshment so doing that but the, yes, the rest of the day is yet to unfold. So here it comes. Wishing you all a great day. See you in a bit. Wow. Looks pretty awesome. Time to get all wet. This is cool. Time to get wet. Oh, it's kind of warm. Place, place is pretty mint. Oh, there's another section. Oh man. Birds, there's birds. Birds live here. Whoa. It's a little house. This is Rivi Riviera de Maya. And there's fishies and turtles everywhere. Nice place. So this place is pretty cool. I'm really glad I could go here on the day before I had to return my car. Totally worth it. 
and I went into the turtle zone accidentally without realising and just trod, trod in some mud and, and made it all muddy. <laughs> good it's good it's a nice place I recommend it so it's day seven of my 30 day video challenge no this is day eight day eight I just really appreciate being here right now I woke up and for the first time it was actually cold in the morning. Yeah, I'm, I am really grateful for being here right now, at this time of year in particular. It's really enjoyable. So that was really nice. I really, really enjoyed that. It was quite refreshing to swim in some caves with some turtles and some fishies and some bats. Yeah, that was sweet. Now it's time to go get some breakfast and go back home and get on with some work. I've got to sort out some administration. I've also, my long awaited emotional healing course that I've been working on for over a year now. <laughs> it's pretty much ready, I just need to finish off the word format of it and then put it into video format as soon as oh 44 as soon as it's in video format uh, I'll just make I'll peel the audio out of that and then I'll basically be putting that course up on my website so it'll be like a, a text format and I'll also do I'll turn the text format into like a, an ebook as well like a printable ebook so that people can print it and then maybe one day it will be published into a book as well. And that was a one one one. <laughs> so yeah, I want to offer this emotional healing course as text format just on the website and then also a printable ebook PDF format and then also video format in like a multi-step series and also audio format for when people are in the car and they're driving and they just want to listen. So in that way I'll be hitting all bases and that'll be good. I'm also going to be including this emotional healing course into the action steps plan for the foundation for personal growth as there needs to be like an inner work section which because I personally believe that inner work is one of the most fundamental parts of personal development, self-empowerment, and generally leading a best, the best life we possibly can without any kind of blocks in our way. So this is all happening. It's now time to make it happen. And yeah, but first of all, breakfast, and then back home better do that yoga so I'm gonna do the yoga and I just I'm just meditating now in the car I feel I need to it's coming to that point in my life where it's like if I don't meditate I feel the difference much love speak to you in a bit I just had I just had some emotion in my solar plexus and it was that kind of emotion where it's just like it's just there and you can feel it it's just <laughs> sat there not not strong enough to to kind of make you cry but you're like on the verge of wanting to and you just want to let it out and so I sat there for a moment and I just felt it I feel like it's related to some kind of relationship. And so I sat there with it and just went into it. I let it expand a bit with the breath, just.
and I was able to feel it, but then to actually transmute it, because I could sit with that emotion for like half an hour here. And it does help, but I then also decided instead just to bring some love in, bring some love, just to really transmute it. And so I did, just bringing some love in and it's settled now. There's no, there's no emotion left. But I could cry. And that's a good thing. There is certainly something that needs to come out. And it came out. But... Just being patient with myself. Feeling what needs to be felt. It's that simple. Lots of love. Do you ever get those days where you kind of go about your day and then all of a sudden your heart just starts hurting for some reason? Like you've got an emotion that just needs to come out? I got that right now. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really strange when that happens. So I'm just going to breathe into it and bring as much love into my heart as I can. Just saying that already feels better. It's so strange. Just being present with it, you know, just feeling it out. To all of the emotional healing coaches tapping into this video and listening. You know what I'm talking about. You just gotta feel it to heal it. And that's what I'm doing right now. But sometimes just feeling it isn't enough. Sometimes it needs love. Focused, intended love. To truly heal it. I'm sorry. To my heart, I am sorry. I'm sorry for what I put us through.